Deities on Kushain Coins Mesopotamian Connections Nanaya Nanaya is a moon goddess which appears on the early coins of Kushans and is depicted wearing a crescent and holding the wand in left hand seating on a lion. Nanaya is linked with a variety of deities like Nanaya may refer to a pagan mother goddess Nan worshipped in Armenia. Nan was a goddess of war and wisdom. The Mesopotamian goddess Ishtar or Anana, the goddess of love, war, fertility and sexuality. She was particularly worshipped in northern Mesopotamia, at the Assyrian cities of Nineveh, Asher and Arbela. Inanna is associated with the city of Uruk early as the Uruk period. Astarte, chief female divinity, or regarded as the masculine form of Ishtar in Akkadian cult. Often worshipped in Syria through the Bronze Age. Her cult was mostly found in the Mesopotamian cultures of Assyria and Babylonia. The cult of Nanaya is also linked with old Persian goddess Anahita who herself is often linked with goddess Anahit of Armenia. All the above mentioned goddesses have the lion and a star as their symbol. Nana Nana also appears on many Kanishka 1 coins. She too is often depicted with a crescent and holding a lion finial wand. Nana or Nanaya is a goddess of voluptuousness and sensuality. Her cult was large and spread as far as Syria and Iran. Some historians are of the view that the Armenian goddess Nan was adopted from the Akkadian Nanaya. Nana was also absorbed into Babylonian pantheon as the consort of Nabu, Tashmatim, the lady who listens and grants favors. She is sometimes also identified with Greek goddess Artemis. Manashal Manashal appears in Huvishka's coins. She too is linked with the Sumerian mother goddess, Nana. The cult of Nanashao can be said to be prevalent in Balochistan, worshipping Bibi Nani and in the Kula Valley worshipping a similar goddess, Nana Devi. Scholars regard all the three Nana, Nanaya and Nanashao as one mother goddess of Sumerian origins. The cult following seems widespread with votive images appearing in Palmyra, Susa and Asher. Egyptian deity Sarapo. Serapis, Serapis and Sarapo is a Greco-Egyptian god whose cult can be traced back to 3rd century BC on the orders of Ptolemy I of Egypt. The cult of Serapis was introduced by Ptolemy I in hope to unify the Greeks and Egyptians in his realm. Serapis derived from the worship of the Egyptian Osiris and Apis. The cult continued to spread even during the Roman times and with some cultural migrations sipped into the Kushain pantheon also. The early coinage of Kushain had a great Greek iconographic influence and were struck depicting the Greek deities. However as the Kushans created a vast empire under Kanishka won the iconographic imagery, as well as the deities on Kushain coins, became more and more Indian. The religious pantheon under Kanishka I and Huvishka drew heavily from the pre Zoroastrian Iran and the Hindu and Buddhist pantheon. The coins of later Kushain rulers mostly depicted Osho and Aradaksho. Scholars are of the opinion that the iconography introduced by the Kushain in their coins was continued by many dynasties that followed the Kushans. Iranian Adaptations Ardaksho. Ardaksho is the Kushain goddess and guardian of wealth and prosperity. She appears on the coins of Vimitekto, Huvishva and on all the coins of all the remaining later Kushain rulers except Vajadevi. Ardaksho is often considered to be the Zoroastrian Ashi Vangui or Ashi, the divinity of fortune, the one who confers victory in time of battle. Interestingly, this goddess is also linked with an Indian deity and Buddhist guardian goddess of children and women at childbirth, Hariti. Ardaksho is also linked with a Chinese goddess Naya. Ardaksho is also linked by some scholars to Indian Sri Lakshmi. Ardaksho is also connected to the Greek goddess Tik of good fortune. Ashikso. Ashikcho a god which only occurs on the Kushain coins of Vishka. He is linked with the Zoroastrian god Ashavashista, the god of truth, righteousness, right working and order. He is also connected to fire and sometimes called as the agent of truth. 
Ashavashista has a Indian equivalent Rita, which is the principle of the natural order. Athsho. Athsho is the fire god and is shown on the coins of Kanishka 1 and Huvishka with fire tongs held in his hand. Athsho can be linked with the Zoroastrian Atar and Persian Atash, which is the concept of holy fire. Athsho is also linked with the Greek god Hephaestos, the great Olympian god of fire, metalworking, stone masonry and his sculpture usually depict a bearded man holding hammer and tongs, the tools of a smith, and riding a donkey. The cult of Athsho may have been prevalent in northeastern Iran and mid-Persia. Pharaoh Pharaoh is fire god like Athsho and is found on Huvishka's coins only. Faro is linked with the Zoroastrian concept of glory and splendor as Kwerna. The word Kwerna is found in many inscriptions from the Sasanid era and seems to have been adapted in many of the Iranian cults. During the Middle Period, it got adapted into Bactria as Faro, Persian Far, and the Parthian Far. Faro is regarded as the male counterpart of Ardakhsho. Faro is also correlated with Cubera Pansica as on many coins Faro is shown with a money back in his hand. Gravaspa Gravaspa is originally a female deity in the Zoroastrian pantheon which means with solid horses. The word in Avestan language means enigmatic. Gravaspa appears on the coins struck by Kanishka 1 and Huvishka and such coins are rarely found. Gravaspa appears on Kushane coins as Groospo, a masculine form of the name and is also depicted as a male figure. Dravaspa is also in connotations connected with the mid-Persian Lorasp, the Fa 